Hi there, it's Coach C and welcome to The Daily C with Christine Nielsen. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, how the new year has already taken a left turn for me and uh, for the systems and structures in my life. And this happened on Friday and it's uh, Sunday. So you're going to be faced with setbacks. There are going to be things that happen unexpectedly in yourself, in your personal business, in your life. And you are going to always be challenged with things that will happen. There, I hadn't expected this left turn so quickly in the new year. And um, sometimes things happen for a reason and they need to happen regardless of whether we want them or not. So I'm just going to share with you a little bit about what happened. Many of you have probably had employees that have left or you've needed a fire. And in some cases, uh, it may have happened at the same time. They, you needed to fire them and they resigned right before you did that or vice versa, you actually fired them. In my case, uh, one of my employees, who's actually one of the, probably for me, one of the most critical parts of my team, not the person or the individual, but when this isn't, this role on my team isn't being done and isn't being done fantastically, everything else falls apart. And many of you might be thinking that it's my admin or that it's our marketing person or our sales department or any of those things. That's not what happened. The person who um, needed to leave my team is actually the biggest support system in my for my systems that help me as a CEO and a mom manage my business and my family. And that person is our caregiver, our, our, the person who takes care of our home. They manage our, you know, all of the day-to-day -day things that happen in the house. She manages those things. And on Friday, it had been coming for a while. So in the last quarter of 2020, sorry, 2019, I noticed that I was tolerating a lot of things that weren't getting done and were getting done well. I was putting up with um, just, behaviors that ordinarily I, I would not do that. But this in my world, in my opinion, is the most critical member of my business and I'm willing to be patient and tolerant and kind. And sometimes I'm patient, tolerant and kind to a fault. And that always bites me. It always bites me because then I'm get, I become, you know, I'm not getting what I need done and my family's not getting what they need. And then the complaints start rolling in and Things had gotten to the high water mark. I won't go into a lot of details about it, but it, I it had gotten to the point where this is no longer acceptable and I had to say something. And once I called the person out on it, and that was our caregiver and, and our home manager really, uh, she got very offended by it. She didn't like that I wasn't willing to tolerate things. And some of you are tolerating stuff with your staff or your employees or tolerating stuff with your coworkers that it's not acceptable. You know, if you're pulling more of the lion's share or you're doing the work or someone's treating you badly at work or even at home and you keep tolerating the behavior because you think you can't live without that employee, you think that they're, you know, irreplaceable. Because if it, when it comes down to your family and your children, if the person who's taking care of them, you really do think they're irreplaceable and you think that everything's gonna fall apart without that person. We got to the point where I could no longer step over it. I could no longer tolerate it. It wasn't working. And I want you to realize that it takes me a long time to get there, probably longer than it should. And when I tolerate it, I end up with resentments. I end up upset. I end up doing things that I shouldn't be doing because it's costing my company money and it's costing me valuable time with my kids that I can't replace. So bottom line, Friday, everything came to a, a, a boiling point. And um, let's just say that we agreed to part ways. Uh, my That person on my team, that household manager, she resigned and it was for the best for me and I accepted the resignation. And afterwards, I felt free. I felt like I had been being held hostage by an employee because I was so afraid to Number one, tell them what's working and not working. And tall, and I was so afraid that I would lose that person who's taking care of my, pro, my, my most precious elements in my life, which are my kids. Now, the older two kids, the teenagers, 
they're pretty easy. They don't need a caregiver, but my six-year-old really does. And I really know, need to know that he's safe, that he's well taken care of. And as far as his safety and well being well taken care of, he was. But it, all of the other elements of her job weren't getting done. And they weren't getting done well. And I kept stepping over it. And I was so afraid because it's like, if I lose this employee, then everything will fall apart. How will my structures for existence that I talk about a lot all the time, you hear me talk about structures, for existence, making sure that you have the right people in your team, making sure that everybody knows their job and they know their functions. And, you know, in my own team, one of the most critical roles, they weren't doing their job. And not the safety of, of my son, but the rest of it, like making sure the rest of the things are done well. And it just got to a boiling point because organization and, you know, making sure that the, it's, it's funny, but the structures for me that have to work are, the laundry is handled, the groceries are handled, the meals are prepped minimally, that the house is organized and things are put where they need to go so that we can find them. And there's, it's, it's that, it, what I would call the removal of chaos so that I can be out in the world and do the things that I do and travel and, and lead programs and, and be with my clients. When that function isn't functioning and I'm tolerating things, then I'm starting to, you know, it, it, it's a problem because then it's chaotic in my mind. It takes up brain space. It takes up mental capacity. When I'm tolerating things in my employees that don't work and they don't work for me because it's costing me something. And then I'm not saying anything for fear that they'll leave. Well, guess what? It happened. She's gonna leave and Friday she resigned and the world didn't open up and swallow me whole it actually felt like this burden that I'd been carrying by holding on to this employee for too long got lifted off my shoulders. So sometimes we hold on to staff, we hold on to employees because we're afraid of change. We're afraid of, I have to train someone and the costs of that and the turnaround time and ba 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 and what about all the bookings that I have going on and how am I gonna manage this and all of that noise. And the reality is once I had that freedom, then I just felt like I could take some control back and that I could have things go in the direction that I need them to go in. And immediately I you know, got up Saturday morning and started doing a search for a new employee, for a new household staff member. And you know, I probably, I found some really great candidates so far and it, it actually is very freeing because I know that I'm not tolerating things and not, people not doing their job and I'm not holding on to or beholden to an employee for fear of the consequences. Because the reality is there aren't, there's small consequences to me. There's a little extra chaos. There's a little extra pressure, but everyone is replaceable. And if you're not getting what you need out of your employees, you don't have to tolerate that. If you've provided the right structures, the right training, and given them every opportunity to step into their role and they're still not doing it, Maybe it's time for you to look at what do you need to let go of with your staff and what are you tolerating? What are you stepping over? So my, my new year has already taken a left turn and I really feel that it's for the best. I really feel that this, you know, getting, you know, letting this person go and putting the right person to do the job in place is going to be more beneficial for me and for my company because that is for me one of the critical roles that allows us to be successful is that I have support to manage my family at home and make sure everything is running smoothly and running like the, uh, the ship that it is. And um, so the lesson for today, your new year, your 2020, you're gonna have left turns. Unexpected things are gonna happen. You was not in the plan. That was definitely not in the plan. I looked at the plan, it wasn't in there that we didn't have our, our home caregiver. And in reality, it, all things in a plan, you know, you have to be able to be resilient, but you'll notice that I took immediate action. I didn't be all, oh, why me? And I'm this and I'm that. And I didn't go down any of this one. I was like, what now needs to happen to make an impact in this? And by when does it need to happen? It needed to happen immediately. And I took immediate actions and, you know, this week will be challenging, but I've already made requests for support. I've already asked people for help. And I'm really excited about, you know, taking that on and letting go and not being beholden to, a, to an employee that isn't working out. And so I hope that you took something powerful away from that message. The three key things here on the daily C, your daily dose of vitamin C are number one, if you're holding on to for fear of change, let it go. You're going to have change anyway. Number two, 
your, your new year or your year, you will have left turns. Are you resilient? Yes, is the answer. You can get through anything. And third and final, don't step over and tolerate things because it just makes you resentful. So it's pointless. You know, you can't get those hours of your life back. You can't get that time back. So welcome to, thank you for joining the Daily C and I hope that this was a valuable message to you and we'll see you tomorrow.